for us, absolutely slavery and, uh, and abhor abhorrent practice. And um, we're very sad about that history. Um, our focus is several fold. One is to make sure that um, we, we work with the Belizean government and with other affected countries to make sure that this episode is never forgotten and people learn the lessons uh, from that terrible practice. Um, and also to make sure that we work to tackle racism in any form. And you know, what's encouraging to see is, is the open society that you have here in Belize. And um, you know, we need to make sure that, that we always can tackle any form of racism or discrimination. Uh, but the other thing, and this fits in with some of the other subjects we've already talked about, is making sure that we work with Belize and other impacted countries to deliver on their priorities today. Uh, whether it's on development and infrastructure like we've done and it's not just one road there are two roads and five hospitals that we've been involved with as well um, and particularly around climate change you know, this is a directly relevant issue uh, that we need to help uh, impacted countries from slavery um, tackle uh, and I'm proud of the work that we're doing uh, jointly here but across the Caribbean now uh, to tackle climate change but also to make sure that we get better access to climate financing so the SIDS agenda that was mentioned earlier on is absolutely critical there's a vitally important conference next year uh, UN summit on uh, on SIDS and we're working absolutely closely with CARICOM and with other key interlocutors such as uh, Prime Minister Motley to take forward the key elements of the Bridgetown agenda which is vital across the Caribbean and across SIDS uh, to help deliver. So that is our absolute focus.